Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. So this week, I've grabbed five of my favorite people who have spent a lot of time in God's Word and have really ripened and matured in their biblical walk with God and, and study. And I've grabbed favorite verses of each. I was at a, a dinner and each of them had set forth either their favorite verse or their life verse, a, a verse that's meant a lot to them as they've tried to direct their life. And I've only gotten through four of them. I've got the fifth one today, and then I'll finish this up next week. But today, I get to do the life verse of my sweet wife, Becky. And I'm really excited about that. Now, I got to tell you, when I started this series, I got an email from a Christian brother of mine named Skip. And, and Skip said, I'll bet you before you're done, well, at least one person for their life verse will have picked uh, Proverbs 3. And, and he was dead right. I told him, I said, yeah, it's my sweet Becky. And uh, uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 is her life verse that, that I think has been hers since at least high school. I think this is something that her dad really instilled in her. And I love this verse because it answers a question that I get asked often. And the question is, what should I do with my life? You know, how do I make decisions? I want to make godly decisions. You know, I need to know sometimes it's something like who to marry. Uh, sometimes it's something like where to live. Uh, do I buy this car or that car? I've been asked that. And I tend to go back to this verse. It's not the first place I go to. My first comment is always spend time in Scripture. Because 90% of our decisions in life are handled if we'll just read God's word and see what he has to say to us. He teaches us our priorities. He teaches us right from wrong. He reveals to us what our motivations need to be. He inspires us. You know, all of those things can be found as we prayerfully read through scripture. But that may cover 90, 95% of life's decisions. There are still some that you may not have. And so what do we do? Well, that's where today's passage comes in. So here it is. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. I love this. I love this. It starts out telling us to trust in the Lord with all of our heart. Now, lave the Hebrew word for heart, that's where in Jewish thinking in Old Testament times, your heart is where they thought your thinking was. And so it, we would translate it brain maybe today. But it's, a, it's, it's talking about the heart organ. They just thought that's where you did your thinking. Uh, your feelings, they, they thought was in your belly, in your gut. Um, uh, um, so so you're, you're, and I guess to some extent we still say that today, you get butterflies in your stomach, you know, it's a, that type of thing. But when, they, when, when the proverb says to trust in the Lord with all of your heart, it's not talking about your emotions, it's talking about your mind. Think about this. Make your decisions trusting in God. Don't just lean on your own understanding. Don't, look, look, you and I, the heart's deceitful above all things. We got to be really careful trusting just what we think. We need to look to God. We want God to inform what we think. We want to study his word. We want to seek his face. So if we will trust in him, if we'll rely on him, if we'll lean on him and not lean and, and rely on ourselves, then the assurance is he's going to make our paths straight. He'll make our decisions the right decisions. He, at that point, becomes responsible and says, if you'll trust me with all of your heart, if you'll lean not on your own understanding, if in all of your ways you'll acknowledge me, you'll seek to put me first, God says, then I'm going to make your paths straight. It's the PL form of the verb, if you know Hebrew verb forms. God will make your path straight. 
You may not on your own do that. You may want to do twists and turns. If you're trusting in God, he says, I'll make your path straight. What does that mean for me? That means today I'm going to seek to make my decisions based upon God what's right before him, what he wants me to do. Even if it doesn't seem like the best idea to me, I'm not leaning on my understanding. I'm leaning on his. I'm going to do right by him. And I'm going to trust and watch him make my path straight. He'll straighten it out. Now, if, if I've got to make a decision on which car to buy, I'm going to prayerfully seek God. And I'm going to trust that when I make that decision with God's heart and God's mind, that he's going to make it the right decision. Of course, it's a lot more important on some things other than buying a car. But I'm telling you, I don't want to lean on my decisions of right and wrong. I want to trust in God and lean on what he's revealed to me. That's the straight path. Who wants to walk in circles? More passages next week, but that's your video thought for the day.